everybody, it's Bunny, and I hope none of you are going to mind, but today is just going to be a nice, relaxing, chit-chat kind of vlog. We're gonna open some packages like we did the other day when I was cleaning out my office together with you guys, which I hate to report, it has gotten just a little bit messy again. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys, it has been a long time. I don't even remember what year it would have been when I was doing daily videos maybe 2015 or I, I don't know I know I probably attempted to do vlogoween last year but I know that I failed definitely it's taking me a minute to remember how to get back into the groove get back into the pace of things and I'm going to be quite honest ever since I think it was like the third day of vlogoween whenever I did do that office cleanup video and I got so far behind with that crazy audio glitch literally I feel like I've just been like running a race and tripping over my own feet like every day to get it all done plus all the other projects and to just kind of like keep everything going. To be completely honest with you guys, last night, yesterday, I don't even know what day it would be considered now, but I was up until 10 o'clock the next day. Like I was, I was up from like Thursday all day to 10 o'clock in the morning on Friday just to get yesterday's video filmed and edited, uploaded, and all of that, plus all the other stuff that I had to get done. So we have had a couple setbacks this week, mainly with that whole audio glitch, then with the photo shoot, and uh, and it's just, I, I don't know. So here we are, but I do feel like yesterday's video, I was starting to get a little bit dead energy-wise, and today, you guys, I am just completely exhausted. So today is just the seventh day of vlogoween and i don't want to immediately like kind of start myself off on this bad pacing where i'm just like super exhausted i would like to attempt to get some normal amount of sleep tonight so hopefully i can get up and film during the day tomorrow because definitely one of the does this thing really works that i want to do this month i already kind of told you guys about it's that webcaster gun for years now i've been wanting to try it it's just some things like i have to be awake during the day and i feel like i'm just messing myself up like every day and every night because to get the next days up I have to stay up all night long into the next day and then I'm just like so exhausted I'm like sleeping through the days it's just I have set myself off to a bad pacing and the only way to get over it is to not allow myself to do it so let's like just take a minute to recenter ourselves and um and hang out and all of that but thank you guys so much once again for all the awesome feedback on this week's vlogoween videos so far i got some amazon packages today some of this is stuff i ordered and some of it it looks like maybe four i think we have six boxes to open if i could count that would be great oh i'm so excited for this i don't know if you guys have ever seen this show it's something that i really wish that they streamed on netflix hey from the dark side did you guys ever watch that I feel like it's kind of like a forgotten favorite it's from I know it came out in the 80s I'm trying to remember oh my gosh even before I was born 1983 to 1988 how was I watching this when I was such a wee babe I guess I was also probably catching some repeats but I think even like Steven Spielberg directed some of these little shorts by Stephen King it's a little bit darker than than Twilight Zone, but probably a little bit more lighthearted than Tales from the Crypt, I would say. I feel like I hardly ever watch anything on DVDs anymore. Isn't that crazy? Like, I feel in the beginning I was so resistant to uh, getting into, like, digital like watching things digitally and I was like I want the little plastic insert and the CD case and all of that but now it's literally so pointless it's kind of like an inconvenience to ever have to like put a disc in extreme first world problems it's just so crazy 
how like technology do you guys ever feel like things are just getting I mean obviously things are just getting faster and faster and faster but I remember it was probably just like 10 years ago where I was like why am I gonna repurchase everything digitally and now here I am repurchasing everything digitally the other thing that was in this box oh my gosh ha! <laughs> this is kind of like one of these funny things that I'm gonna show you guys so I just thought about this the first time in in the first time well since since I lost some stuff in my storage units is when I thought about this because I lost all of these discs unfortunately in the storage unit flood from the hurricane but I used to collect these they were from ultra records and they were like ultra trance ultra dance and like when I was on um, our Disney trip I was thinking about these super old CDs it used to be one of my favorite parts of going to Walt Disney World they had like well they still have downtown Disney but I think they call it Disney Springs now they're in the midst of redoing it all it kind of used to be like the nightclub area of Walt Disney World but now they've really refreshed it and it's more like shops and restaurants and definitely more of a family friendly environment I think that's why downtown Disney kind of never really took off is because I feel like it was always more for the locals who wanted to go clubbing than families who were like going there with their kids and stuff to just be like bye kids we're going clubbing but my favorite thing about downtown Disney used to be the giant virgin record store you could find so many crazy like rare like dance and trance albums they sold Toki Doki it was like two or three stories high it was so cool it's since closed down years ago I don't even know if like virgin record stores exist on a whole it was like oh my gosh I'm trying to think of what the other thing was Bro Brook no Brookstone is like technology stuff or furniture or whatever let's take a sippy sippy while I contemplate I don't know I, it'll it'll come to me you guys suggest like book and CD stores down below and maybe one of you guys will name it and then I'll like pin it in the top comment but it was like another cool place that was kind of like a virgin record store they sold like purses action figures CDs movies they had so many like rare DVDs and stuff anyway I used to be crazy about these ultra dance and trance compila compilations I thought about it once I lost them in the storage unit and then I was like trying to see if they were even available while we were on the road to listen to digitally while we were on the way to Disney and they're not it's like another like lost fragment of my life and so I looked them up on Amazon and you guys you can literally order these now for like 84 cents it's so crazy that like the lowest amount of shipping is like four dollars but still like basically I'm rebuying my entire collection for I think I bought like every single one for like $62 which is insane to think like when I was in college and stuff I was spending so much money on these CD these like dance and trance compilation CDs that I was probably paying like $25 for and now you can literally buy them for like 84 cents so I bought them all and I'm sure they're gonna slowly trickle in then I got this and wish me luck I hope it's gonna work um, I got a DVD RW so that I can actually upload them into iTunes and just turn them into digital copies but the thing that makes me so sad is I used to have a little twin stars you know the Sanrio characters I'll insert a picture here they are so adorable I had a little twin stars CD case and I lost it and it's so sad I went on Amazon and stuff to try and replace it and then I tried to find a Karopi one because I love Karopi because he's the little frog but they have like no Sanrio CD cases I guess those just got Whoop, way left behind in the 90s you guys does this like bug anybody else who orders on Amazon I literally got this huge package I mean don't get me wrong it is fun to get boxes in the mail I am not going to even lie to you and say that I don't enjoy seeing stuff like this on my front porch but sometimes they've been doing this crazy stuff lately where when I was ordering supplies for the friction um the rocket wave notebook that we just tested out for does this thing really work and they were literally putting one pin look at that what is going on here they literally are putting one tiny itty bitty little thing in this whole box like what is going on over at Amazon 
what are y'all doing over there? And these look like the cheapest knockoff. I thought these were the real thing. I've been getting so many requests to do the LED lashes. So I ordered them. I think I paid around three or four dollars for them. This literally looks like something I could have bought for free on Wish where it's like the item is free. Just pay shipping. I'm a little concerned to glue this to my face though. I don't know if I'm gonna be brave enough to actually do this video but I might, you never know with me. I ordered them just in case they're supposed to glow orange, which I don't know, maybe these definitely aren't the original ones then because I thought that the LED lashes, I thought the point was that they would like flash different colors and stuff. But the ones that I ordered off of Amazon, you could only select like one color. So I picked orange because it's vlogoween. How have I already been talking for 13 minutes? This is a very banana peppery kind of video, AKA just kind of like a tea vlog, which I am glad so many of you guys seem to really enjoy the office cleaning video because that really felt like a tea vlog to me too. We have a lovely box from Aveda. Their packages always smell so good. I got a package from the body shop the other day and oh my gosh, you guys, I'm always so sad that I am totally too sensitive to use tea tree because I love the way that tea tree, I think they sense, I think it was like a clarifying mask or something and it was tea tree and it smelled so good. And I was like, no, no, why can't I use it? I see something for dog man right on the top. He loves these chocolate bars. I don't think I've actually seen them like for sale at any of our local grocery stores, but I think the brand is called Comparts, Compartes, Compartes. I never know what happens when I hit like an accent. What, how, how do you say that? I have gotten a couple of these bars in the past. It seems like they're really popular with like PR companies. My favorite one that we've ever gotten came with a Too Faced package about a year or so ago, but it was like dark chocolate. It had like dried strawberries inside of it. It was so good. But this is called the Old Hollywood Bar. It looks really cool. It kind of has like a Gatsby look to it, but it says that it is dark chocolate and smoked sea salt. Let's see what the product is in here. Is it something Old Hollywood? Oh, it has the word tonic in it. Maybe that's why they were like, hmm. Old Hollywood, everyone likes tonic. This is a texture tonic. Ooh, I'm very excited to try this. So it is a texture spray. I guess it's kind of like a sea salt spray. Let's spray it and see if it smells like a sea salt spray. Ooh. Oh, wow, this smells amazing. If this was a fragrance, I would wear it. I feel like I've said that before about other products that are not fragrances and I'm like, I would just spray this on myself and wear it as perfume. It is just basically supposed to give you the right dose of versatile undone cool. I feel like that's my aesthetic is just looking generally disheveled. Thank you guys so much also for all the compliments on the green wig yesterday. I really enjoyed that. I am always seeing people wear wigs and I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. But I feel like I have always thought I look kind of like goofy in wigs. But you guys, that company that I got those from, they sent them over. They are so sweet. It's called Webster Wigs. And I really did not feel self-conscious when I had that one on because it looked so natural. And I mean, that that's probably like the second time maybe I've ever worn a wig in my life. So I really don't have any idea really how to like style them, stuff like that. So definitely I am at extreme beginner level with stuff like that. And I found it like so easy to apply and style and easy to work with. I straightened it a little bit to make it look a little bit more like my hair. And I just watched one little tutorial video like on how to wear a lace front wig because that's what they are. And the tip that I got was to apply like a matching color of eyeshadow. So I had a NYX green shadow that was like pretty much the same color as the wig. So I think that that is what made it blend in, but it was just so easy, like literally, just scrunch all my hair down, put a little wig cap on, and clip the wig in, and I just put little space buns in it. It was so easy. This next package is from Violet Voss, and it's called the Rainbow Eyeshadow Palette, and this is quite apparently coming out on October 10th at 10 a.m. Pacific, so it's not quite out yet, but look at that box. 
I think I saw this on Trend Mood 1's account today. She, of course, is where I always get the latest beauty news to know what is coming out and when. I saw this on her page and I was hoping that I would get it because the packaging is just so gorgeous and I feel like this is the perfect season for me to have a lot of the different kind of colored eyeshadows that I would not normally gravitate to because I'm trying to do, you know, different looks like I did yesterday. Up next, we have a big box from Smashbox, which is pretty exciting. I have not seen a new launch that they are doing recently, but I could have missed something. But you guys, I have been loving their foundation sticks. I know that I recently put them in a favorites, but it's kind of like the only foundation that I'm wearing right now. It says, hello, ombre. And I really like this box too. It's, it's a very interesting shape. Oh, wow. So this is so cool. A triple tone lipstick. That is so cool. Let's look at Berry Ombre. So it is, you know, like a lip highlight liner um, and contour and we are not getting any focusing. There we go. Welcome back to earth. Look at that. And then we have Red Ombre, which obviously I'm gonna love that one. I have been feeling so much more like myself lately, which I feel like is why I'm back into like the red lips. And I absolutely cannot wait until Guy comes and visits me in December because we are gonna put so much black back in my hair and then I will really feel like myself. And then the rest of these in here are the Be Legendary lipsticks, which I will be so happy to get some of them back because um, I've actually used quite quite a great deal of them. I feel like uh, earlier this year, last year, we got the set of Be Legendary lipsticks. Um, and I used a lot of them. I've gifted a lot of them to friends and family and stuff. The last box I totally cannot show you guys. It's down here. It's, it's very large. I don't know what it's going to be or where it came from. Oh my gosh. I know what this is. Of course I know what it is. I'm looking at it with my eyeballs. How did I open this last? because now I want to do this and now it's gonna be an even longer video. I've seen so many people asking me to open one of these and um, to, to see what it's about, which is kind of like a throwback to more of my like toy unboxing kind of things. But I know so many people have been on the quest to find these LOL big surprises. I have never opened these little LOL ones, but I think they're kind of like the new wave of Shopkins. There are seven surprises in this one egg, and I, I think like water is involved. I don't even know the whole story, but I've been seeing these pop up all over my Instagram, and so I have one to open and one as a giveaway for one lucky Swamp family member. I have been seeing this everywhere, like Target and Best Buy. Uh, not Best Buy. When was the last time I've been to Best Buy? Um, Target, Walmart, like every time I'm there, I see this thing and I'm like, oh my gosh. So it's like this whole factory thing. I don't know if you make them or if this is how you open them. Oh my gosh, you can make fizz surprises. Oh my gosh, look at the little hair dryer charm. I kind of feel like I should give this away though because it's so cute. It's like I just want to do it once. Do you know what I mean? It was a lot easier when uh, I we had like family friends and stuff that were younger and I could just like open the toy once and then give it to them. But now I'm kind of like, oh my gosh, like do I do it for a video? Or do I give it away? I don't know. It's like you make bath bombs. I'm really tempted to get into this tonight, but this is how I stay up till six in the morning. So I definitely think I'm gonna have to save these for another day, but one of them is for me to unbox and then one of them is to give away to you guys because I know that this is definitely one of the hottest toys right now. And I always love to be able to give back to you guys. And definitely we have Swamp family members of all ages on this channel. Um, and so, I don't know, I like to give away 
all different stuff. You know what? I'm gonna unbox one of these because I literally see that these are kind of like the viral toy right now, like Hatchimals. And uh, I'm going to uh, open this big one because I never have before. And supposedly there's seven different surprises inside. So I feel like I can open this one without getting into too much trouble and staying up all night. And I have a cup of water in here because I think that there is an aspect of them that's like a bath bomb, which just seems so cool to me. So the first layer, you open it and you get stickers. Look at how cute this is. It's like a, a fangirl. What does that mean? Oh my God, it is a fangirl. It's like a puzzle. And I was like, what? I was like, fan plus girl. And then on the bottom, I was like, oh yeah, fangirl. <laughs> it's like those things, what are they called? Holiday um, crackers, poppers, something like that where you keep like unwrapping layer after layer and you, you know, reveal like different, I don't know, it used to be like riddles, whistles, like all kinds of crazy stuff. Oh my gosh, this is cute. So what is on the second layer? Feed or bathe. Oh my gosh, wait, feed or bathe her to reveal a surprise? So these dolls, I guess, change colors, spit, tinkle, or cries? Oh Lord, please don't let me get the crying one. I feel like I'm just so tired lately that I'm just like, I don't even wanna look at stuff that is sad. But look at this, like every layer I'm opening, there's like a little zipper on each side and you find that and you peel down from there and it re it um reveals the next layer the next surprise oh my gosh it looks like one of the accessories you can get is like a coffee sippy cup that is like my life look at that it looks like a little alice she's like are you curious and then claw it open um oh my god i feel like it's me and squid. She has blue hair, I have blonde hair. By the way, today was Kat's birthday. So if you haven't wished Kat a uh, happy birthday, go wish her a belated happy birthday. Oh my gosh, wow. Okay, this is crazy. You guys, I seriously wish I could be a toy designer. I feel like I would be good at it and I feel like it would be a really fun job. But look at that, so you unwrap to this level and there's all these like secret compartments in the sides of the little ball. And there are accessories, I think, in here, or clothes. Oh my gosh, we did get a sippy cup. It almost looks like a little mason jar sippy cup. That's so cute. So I guess that's gonna be her little prop. Oh my gosh, and she has little boots. Wait, do they match? Because this totally matches the sippy cup. They're these little black boots with little white socks. Look at how cute these are. Now we have to keep opening it and I feel like we're kind of getting to the end. I swear I saw that there's something to do with water with these, but I might be wrong. I might be making stuff up. Okay, now do I pop this open? It looks like maybe I do. There's another little mini surprise. Oh, this one feels like really squishy in there. Okay, so the whole thing must match. Oh my gosh, is this like a little gothic Lolita one? Look, it almost looks like a little Marie Antoinette style dress. I'm loving this. I cannot help that I am just like a big kid at heart. I will always love stuff like this. Oh my gosh, wow. Now you open it up and there's all these pieces. So this must actually be to close the ball back up to make the handle like this one. And now there is another small surprise to unbox. Oh my gosh, you guys, I cannot wait to get this doll out. Like everything I open, I'm just like, I would wear that. I would wear that. I would wear that. It does not look like we soak this one in water. There's just the little doll in side you guys which one fizzes let's see what the little doll looks like though oh my gosh look at her this is beyond adorable i am loving this and it's so squishy oh my god okay so this is one that spits or does it tinkle oh it tinkles i can feel the tinkle let's go ahead and put her little outfit on this is so cute. You guys, uh, if this had blonde hair, okay, it would be me. And then there's like little furniture in here. I feel like she can sit in her little bubble. 
somehow this seems to pop open. That is it for today's video. I know today is kind of like a little chill out, hang out kind of vlog. Let me know in the comments down below. Actually, I think I'm gonna do a poll on the community tab. I know some of you guys, once again, love this kind of like playful toy content. Some of you guys would love for me to just stick to, uh, you know, the makeup, the outfit of the days, stuff like that. I definitely do feel like we have a little bit of an audience divided there are so many different age brackets like I cannot stress to you guys enough like most of the age brackets of the Swamp Family are like pretty much neck and neck like they are off by like you know 5% either way between like you know 13 to 18 18 to 24 24 to uh 30 something i think and like all of those age brackets are literally neck and neck and i feel like since i have always had such a variety on my channel between like straight up like beauty guru content versus just you know tea vlogs talking hanging out um to like toy unboxings to clothing unboxings like definitely we have a wide variety of audience so i feel like that is where some of the hiccups come in is um you know, like a lot of people that are hanging out here like a lot of different things and they're here for a lot of different reasons. And I feel like all of these are just different facets of my personality. I do feel like I have been into more of the makeup-y outfit kind of stuff lately uh, because I've been predominantly like doing all of this kind of stuff on my Banana Peppers channel. I'm gonna put up a community tab post. So vote on there and let me know if you guys would like for me to do this big surprise here on this channel or if if you would like for me to do it on banana peppers and uh, we shall see where it lands I'm just gonna let you guys pick and vote and decide and uh, and we'll see but either way we're gonna open it because I think it will be a lot of fun and I'm sorry today's video went so long I was literally like oh I'm just gonna sit down and make a, a, a nice little five minute long video <laughs> no you're not thank you guys so so much for hanging out today and for watching tomorrow's video should be a does this thing really work and then I think Monday's video is going to be the boyfriend buys my outfits video i am so excited for you guys to see that one so thank y'all so so much for hanging out with me today and for watching thank you guys for being here seven days of vlogween strong and i will see y'all tomorrow i love y'all so so much and i will see y'all tomorrow bye